The Vegas Pro interface is divided into two main areas, the window docking area on the top and the timeline on the bottom. But like almost everything about the interface, you can change the configuration to suit your exact needs and preferences. The window docking area in its default state has eight windows docked in it. The visible windows include the project media, video preview, and master bus. To bring another window to the front, click its tab. For instance, click the tab of the Explorer window to bring that to the front. Click the Trimmer tab to bring it to the front. To move a window to a different position within the docking area, drag the tab horizontally left or right. For instance, to make the Explorer window the first window, drag its tab horizontally to the left until it reaches the first position. Although these windows are docked by default, you can undock them to arrange them however you like. To undock a window, drag its tab vertically up or down. For instance, drag the tab for the transition window down. You have now changed this window to a floating window, and you can place it wherever you want to on your screen or a second screen if you have one. Drag the window to where you want it and release the mouse button. To redock this window, hold the control key and drag the window by its title bar. As you reach the docking area, the window snaps into place. There are times when it is convenient to dock several windows together somewhere other than the window docking area, like on a second monitor. Drag the tab of the media generator's window down to create a floating window. Next, drag the tab of the video effects window down to make it a floating window. Now, let's dock the two together in a floating dock. Hold the control key and drag the video effects window onto the media generator's window. The two windows dock together, and depending upon where you drop the second window, you might dock them one over the other, side by side, or in some other configuration. Now that the two windows exist within a floating dock, you can move the floating dock and put it anywhere on any of your computer screens. Feel free to experiment with different window layouts to see if a particular layout enhances your personal workflow. To quickly return to the default layout, choose View, Window Layouts, Default Layout. When you find a layout that works best for a particular production task, you can save it for easy recall whenever you need it. Undock the Explorer window and redock it to the right of the Project Media window, creating a side-by-side -side dock. Now we can easily browse the folders on our PC and drag Select Media right into the Project Media window. Choose View, Window Layouts, Save Layout As. Name the layout media collecting and choose 9 for the shortcut key. Click the close buttons for both the Explorer and Project Media windows to close them. Choose View, Window Layouts, and notice in the cascading menu you see your new layout at the bottom, 9, Collecting Media. Choose that from the menu to restore your custom layout. To quickly return to the default layout, choose View, Window Layouts, Default Layout. You will no doubt find and create different layouts for the various tasks in your production workflow. Creating, saving, and recalling the layouts when needed will make your production process more efficient.